Hello. Organic work depends on texture to make it interesting and normally you will build your garland with the different size balloons and then add in extras to get the texture. Lots of different ways of doing this but here's a couple of um, maybe shortcuts, little time saving tips to help you get them done faster and add a little bit of slightly different look to it. Started off with a short section of garden that we can add stuff into. Um, the colours we're using here are they're particularly lovely. This is uh, Sempotex Reflex Champagne and Reflex Truffle. And then we have Fashion White Sand and Fashion Chocolate. And these four colours together really do work very well together. It's a lovely rich combination. And we're going to add the detail from the champagne. So normally with this you would probably just use five inch balloons, make them into small clusters, add them in. Occasionally though those can be a little bit too large or um, too bulky and it's always quite difficult when you're working with five inch balloons of a small size to get the colour right. So we use a technique called splitting the bubble and that's what these are. They're made from five inch balloons split in half. And once you've done that you can just attach them to a 260 and pull it through the garland and then they will sit into the gaps wherever you want them to be and the, the using of the 260 means that you can move them around so if that's not quite in the right place you can shift it and to create that look we just use five inch balloons over inflate them quite dramatically make them as big as you reasonably dare and then let them down to a very small size so that they're extremely soft and squashy. Tie that off and then repeat it with another one. Because it's organic we don't really need to size them because we're after the, the, the variation in sizes. You could of course get more accurate sizing if you wanted to by sizing them in the first place but blow them large let them down and then just squeeze the balloon in half so put your finger on where the knot is and just squash it in half and twist and you can adjust the sizes of the two halves if you want to like so and then just to secure it take the neck and wrap it around a couple of times do that for two balloons and then twist them together to make your mini cluster. Now the softer the balloon, the rounder the balloons in your mini clusters will be. So if you've not let in, made it soft enough, then you could end up with sort of kidney shaped balloons here. So make it really, really soft. And then once you've made two of those, add them together with your 260 and put them into your garland. Another technique that is becoming increasingly popular is to use mini garlands in your organics and weave those in between the balloons in the in the main garland this is one i've just added two little bits of 260 onto there so you can see how it attaches in just pull it through wrap it round over here and pull this end through and then again you can adjust the positioning of your mini garland to suit um, like so and there's various ways of making that but a particularly fast way I think is to use duplets of very soft and squashy five inch so I've done exactly the same inflated them large re reduced the size and tied them together close to the neck roll so that we've got lots of stretch here and I'm just going to twist three duplets together and then we'll make the mini garland. So we'll take one, squash it in half and twist. Take the second one, pull it up through the middle of the first one, wrap it round once and then squash it in half and twist. And then take the third one, pull it up through the first two, wrap it round that one and squash it in half and twist. Like so. Then turn it over and go back the other way. So take one of these, squash and twist, 
Take another one, pull it up through the middle and wrap it round. Squash and twist. And then take the final one. And squash and twist. And then you can just adjust them so that they sit how you want. And you've got yourself a little mini garland. This one here was made with two of these and I literally just locked the end two together. So you can keep adding to make as many or as few as you like. Just tuck that in wherever you want it to be.